Hey guys, Priscilla here, your Pampered Chef Consultant, always here to help you save some time and money in the kitchen. I'm doing a sweet treat tonight in our deluxe air fryer. And this recipe is actually found um, in our latest season's best cookbook. Um, it is air fryer bonnets, and they're not like a, I mean, they're kind of like a bonnet. You know, I've, I've told you in the past that you can make a donut out of a biscuit, and I've done that. Um, my mother used to do them whenever we were growing up. She would deep fry, um, biscuits that she would just cut or stretch out to make into a donut shape and she would deep fry those and do a peanuts peanut uh, butter glaze or a chocolate glaze or just powdered sugar on those and then when the kids were little I would try the the big grand's biscuits and I would um, bake them in the oven for a, for a um, more healthy treat and I would fill them with jelly um, with our easy accent decorator and we had donuts so we're using the flaky biscuits, um, I'm just using Giant Eagles buttermilk flaky biscuits. And you want flaky biscuits so you can pull them apart. So you pull that biscuit out and then you just split it in half horizontally. And they're better off kept in the fridge till they're good and cold otherwise. So they stay good and cold. Otherwise they're a little bit hard to work with. It gets kind of sticky. So then what I'm gonna do, and I'm using my, um, mat here we're gonna take those and we're gonna roll that into like a four inch circle so let me see just flower that okay and I it's nice with this pastry mat actually has the four four inch diameter circle so that's the start of it and then we're going to just use half of our um, to, um, we're using our little ham pie maker and I do intend to make um, pe peach hand pies this week. So this is the way it is um, when you get it and it actually has a tablespoon measure which snaps right in there. If you wanna make, and you can use this as a cutter whenever you're cutting out pie dough or whatever other dough you might wanna be using. And I think this is gonna be great for doing, you can make your own toaster pastries, hand pies, whatever, and if you wanna do, um, the grain free or palio use the fat head dough you can still make your own toaster pastries using this and you can make them fully round but we're going to take this today and i sprinkled a little flour on the bottom to see this folds over so you can make little pot empanadas you could do pierogies uh whatever you want to try we're going to flour that a little bit and if as you wait this dough actually shrinks back less than four inches so we're going to put that in there and then we're going to take our tablespoon measure and just put a tablespoon of chocolate chips in the middle. And this just can't get any simpler than this. We'll just make a great breakfast, special breakfast treat, and then you just seal it. So seal that, and then I'm going to be baking these in the air fryer. And I'm gonna make two trays of them. You can see I've got a couple here already and then I will bake them in the air fryer for 12 minutes. So they go in the bottom two shelves and as they bake halfway through when it beeps, I will flip the shelves over. And when that comes out, I mixed up some cinnamon sugar and I'm gonna melt a little butter, brush that with a little melted butter, sprinkle with cinnamon sugar. I took a quarter cup of chips and two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. And I this is my go-to ganache for everything. For, dipping, making frozen frozen bananas. It's my fondue. Um, I've done chocolate covered strawberries. This is the go-to, but I will use that and drizzle that on the top of those beignets when they're baked. And if I'd have gotten home sooner, I would have had a couple pre-baked and I could have been Julia Childs, right? And have one already done, but I didn't, I'm sorry. So what I'm gonna do is I will go ahead and continue to make the rest of these it's going to make 16. If you got a can of eight biscuits, it's going to make 16 of these half. So I'm going to find somebody to give them to. I don't want to be eating these things myself. And I think they probably freeze up well too. And the same thing, if you want to do this to make ham pies, you can freeze those ham pies either unbaked or baked. So when I make peach, if I'm going to make peach ham pies, I can go ahead and um, bake them in the air fryer. And then I can go ahead and freeze those. Um, and have them later and it'd be a nice if somebody comes over it would be nice uh something to bring out of 
the freezer to have for a quick dessert. And so you can either thaw, you know, thaw it out, but I think I would just reheat it right in the air fryer. That's where I reheat everything. My pizza crusts, my pizzas, everything gets in the air fryer. So let's go ahead and do one more here. And yeah, I never would have, um, but I really do like the uh, hand pie maker. So you just wanna make sure you pinch it and seal it. It's like a Pac-Man mouth, right? And if you flour that, if you flour that first, they're gonna come off of there better. Let's go ahead and I think, I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the oven to bake. I'm gonna do two more. I'll have to save the other biscuits for something else. So that's something super, super simple. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to prep. It's gonna take about 12 minutes to bake. So you can have, uh, keep biscuits on hand in the freezer and you can have something um, quick and easy for the kids. And I think what, I don't know what kid wouldn't like these. What else might you fill these with? Let me know, comment below. I would love to hear your ideas or what else might you use this hand pie maker for? Like I said, it can be used for other things besides hand pies. So comment below. I'd love to see what ideas you might have. And I do thank you for joining me. And I will come back with a picture of the finished product then. Okay, thanks for joining me. You guys have a great rest of your evening.